Woo. I almost ran a red light. Anyway, so Savannah and I just ate at Hop. Uh, I had the Nutella and banana. Uh, hey, mm -hmm. how are you? you good. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's purity, ain't she? She's purity. How beautiful and pretty mix and purity. Anyway, so I had the banana and uh, Nutella. You had the what? The, what was it, strawberry and cream? Crepes? Yeah, yeah, strawberry and cream okay. crepes. Okay. You want to come over here a little bit? Sorry. She's doing fat jokes today. But, okay, that still ain't working. So, uh, strawberry, strawberries and cream crepes. I had the Nutella and banana. Now, I will say this. Back in the day, they had some peanut butter and banana fucking crepes and pancakes. Ooh, I would hurt myself, bro. I would have tore through maybe 80 of them bitches today. I really wanted them. They were good. It was good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, just too much of the Nutella at one time. It's just not my How thing. You choking? But it was good. Like, what? How you choking? Yeah, because it was hard to swallow. Like, it's kind of like when you eat too much peanut butter and you go to swallow and it's like you stuck in a glob. Drink? Yep, nothing to drink. Even if you did drink, shit, all I did was wash half of it down. And there's still a quarter of it stuck in your throat. But uh, Savannah's gonna tell you about her crepes. Let's see. Uh -huh. It was crepe with um, strawberries and strawberry um, syrup and like a vanilla drizzle icing. Now, it was good, but they drown the crepes in um, syrup so it made them really really sweet and I I mean I like sweet stuff but not to that extent because it kind of actually made my tooth hurt weird huh anyways but the Nutella and banana ones are off the chain um, so you should definitely try those uh, but if you're really big into like strawberry syrup and stuff like that, then you would definitely like the strawberry crepes. Um, I think they have a raspberry one. Uh, I'm not too keen on raspberries, so I wouldn't do raspberry. Um, but IHOP is known for their pancakes. Do oh, y'all like this shirt I got today? It's a, uh, it's from American Eagle, and um, it's a uh, like um, the material of it. I don't even know what it. I don't even know what kind of material this is. Possibly girlfriend material. Ooh. But um, it's really, 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 really soft. It's pretty awesome. Um, it's almost like a. What would you? What would this be considered? I mean, I know it's flannel. It's a soft flannel. Okay, it's a soft flannel. But it's awesome. It's uh, really warm. And um, it's awesome. So y'all should definitely get y'all one. Um, you'll really enjoy it. Where did you get it one more time? Um, I got it from American Eagle. See the little eagle? How much was it? It was about $50. $50. $50. $50. Um, but it was well worth it, in my opinion. Um, so now we're about to head to Academy um, to do some looking around. You know, I might ride a bike for y'all or something while we're there. Maybe show y'all how to lift some weights or something. You know, give y'all the real, the real deal of what goes down at Academy with me. That was the ditch for the bicycle. Your okay. BMX on the stunts. But, um, same thing. It's all a sports store. But, yeah. Now we, we heading to the, uh, we head to Academy. Can't really see much, but, oh well. Got anything? Any last words? No. Yeah, I would like to say one thing. Uh, let's see if we can get the light on right here. See my ring? 
Miss Savannah got me. Proud of it. I said yes to the dress. Just playing. But uh, that pickup line, that was all mine. But I'll let her get that. <clears throat> but anyway, I, I do want to say one thing. The IHOP we went to, I will put the receipt on here. And if y'all go to the IHOP on Tom Hill Senior Boulevard in Macon, Georgia, the service we had tonight sucked. The server we had sucked. The food was good. Except for her crepes. I, I mean, they were pretty good. I, I don't care for it. Um, If y'all go to IHOP, or if he got the, um, if he took a picture of the whole receipt, I don't know if it will go to any IHOP, but if it does, y'all can get the free pancake, whatever. If you do the code, y'all can have that. Yeah, y'all can have the code. Probably not going to get back for a while. Not because the food sucked, but service really sucked. The little boy came up goes, hey, yo, what's up? My name's whatever. I'll be your server. That's unprofessional. Then he took our drink orders, which was all right. Then he walked back down to where all the other servers were. Started talking about smoking weed and how to roll a blunt. Came back, took, asked us about our order. I asked him now, I said, uh, do y'all still have the banana and peanut butter waffles y'all used to have, or pancakes? And he's like, I don't know if it's not on the menu because we got new menus. Some people already, some people usually got them. I said, so you're not sure if you got the peanut butter? I don't know. <clears throat> okay. If you are a waitress or a server, the correct answer is. Hold on, let me find out for you. Hold on, let me go ask in the kitchen. It is not, I don't know. Because if you did know, you can give me the correct answer. But it's not, I don't know. I've been in the restaurant industry, in, in, restaurant industry, and beverage and food industry for a long time. So has Savannah. So, just a little heads up on that. And if I'd have been oh. your manager, I'd have fired your little ass. Speaking of food and customer service, so last night we went to American Deli on Vineville. And let me tell you, food off the chain. Um, I particularly like their chicken wings. Um, the food, I go there quite often and I can honestly, honestly say I don't have any friends that work there, nothing like that. And I can honestly say that the food is always fresh. They never give you anything cold. It's always straight out the grease, whatever, hot. I'll just it. Like all always fucking hot. And the service, the girl, <laughs> excuse me, the young lady that was working there, Treasure. she had awesome customer service. Um, and what I really noticed is everyone that walked in, she treated them like she knew them for a really long time. I thought that was really cool, um, which I mean, I think she does get a lot of usuals in there, but um, I I like the fact that um, she had a op I don't want to say open relationship, but um, she was very um, she got a she went out she came out from behind the counter and joked around with the customers and you know she made. She made it a small restaurant feel like a small oh. restaurant type deal that you'd find in like a hometown somewhere. And don't forget about uh, this little thing. This lady, uh, well, this older guy, he had came in with his grandkids. One of the grandkids had left a dinosaur there. This lady had found the dinosaur. <clears throat> and I, I want to say, what was it, a month ago? I mean, it's been a while. Yeah, they had left about, about a month ago, maybe more. The lady kept it behind the counter Til until the came. little boy came back in. And she gave it to him last night. Just tell me how many restaurants you can go to now 
and that shit happens. Like that's the she thing. She could have easily took it home to her kids. That's the thing, is that's what I love about like I I like their hot wings, but I like more variety of flavors on a hot wing. Like if I wanted just mild hot wings, the honey mustard freaking off the chain. It's not a spicy honey mustard. It's just a regular honey mustard. I love teriyaki, but I like real teriyaki. There's very few places anywhere you can get real teriyaki. But uh, Savannah loves their lemon pepper. No, oh, off the chain. Uh, and the lemon pepper wings are not like wet, like they've been soaking in lemon juice or something. They're very. It's and it's not a dry rub either. I don't. It's like a nice. It's an even blend. So. They had to me. They honestly had the best lemon pepper wings. I you could tell me to go try this place. No, American Deli, off the. It has to be the one on Bumble. They have the best because not everybody sells the same lemon pepper wings. Theirs is off the chain. All right, sous chef, chef to uh, regular people. Lemon pepper is a spice. It is like pepper, salt, whatever. You have to mix it with butter. You have to, you know, some people use the grease out of the fryer to mix it with, to make it more watery, to roll off, you know, whatever. But if you put too much straight lemon pepper, it tastes too much like lemon. If you put too much butter or and or whatever you mix it with, then it either tastes like pepper, it tastes like nothing, or sometimes you get the reverse effect and it tastes straight like lemon. But granted, you can see the lemon pepper flakes from the shake on it and then it, it had a nice coat the flavor of the lemon and that's very hard to get and their wings are not rubbery they're not soft mushy they're actually cooked just crispy. right crispy so are their french fries i know i sound like a fat kid but the thing about soft and and stuff like that with chicken is you have to be careful because if the chicken is not cooked thoroughly and it's not cooked right, there's so many different things you can get. Not only salmonella poison, but actually your chicken has like kind of a ringworm. It's a chicken worm. If it's not cooked properly and or that's why it's crispy or whatever, you could get that chicken worm. If I'm not mistaken, chicken wings are supposed, like if you take them straight out, the blood and dump them into the fryer if I'm not mistaken they're supposed to cook for 10 minutes that's just <laughs> to cook now if you want to make sure crispy and all that jazz then you'd have to you know you could cook them for longer but for them to be edible they have to at least be down in the fryer for 10 minutes and then you also have to pull them up out of the fryer and you have to do, add your shake you know you have to shake them and you know transfer them into different baskets and all that good stuff to make sure they cook right. But yeah, anyway, the service at the IHOP freaking sucked. Uh, the, the, the coolest thing is I tried to get a picture of the manager. Dude looked like Samuel L. Jackson, straight up from uh, the Star Wars movie. Just like him, no mustache, no beard, bald head. I kept on asking, you know, waiting on him to ask what's in your wallet, like the Capital One card, you know. Freaking awesome though. But uh, I don't know, like the American Deli, man. I'm telling y'all, that that's that's the restaurants like that I love to go to, a mom and pop restaurant with a mom and pop feel to make you feel like you're at home. I've I never met this lady before in my life. Savannah goes in there with her family all the time. The lady was joking around, like it's first I was like, you know, I'm just trying to pay for my stuff and go sit down and eat. I'm not, you know, whatever. Well then, you know, as we sat down, we ate, and she came out, she started talking, asking about the food, asking about the serves, genuinely caring about what was going on. You know? Well, that's hard to find these days. Yeah, it is 100% hard to find. And even if she hates her job, you really couldn't tell. Um, I live in a 100% small town. I live in Forsyth, Georgia. Look it up. It is a small town. Uh, the mom and pop restaurant some of them we got there the people are not as nice at all uh you know you got grits cafe great restaurant great people uh, jonah's good restaurant good people uh 
some of your <coughs> Chinese restaurants, mm, Mexican, uh, Spanish, Mexican restaurant, 100% good, 100% good people, just like uh, Grits Cafe, but it's hard to find, like you can go anywhere else, it's freaking hard to find, but uh, unless you got something else to say, no, all right then. They conclude with some of it, you know. We might, we gonna, we gonna do a little bit in a minute. Uh, let you, let you see a little bit of uh, Academy and oh uh, shit, might go down. Apparently that was my cue to hit the button. Missed it. <laughs> 